Okay, this will be the last thing that I do. Now I've gone through here just like we talked about and we, we got this side of the skins up and made sure we put a clamp there so that we had this down flush. When we're completely finished, we're gonna come back and the last thing we're gonna do is put the same rivets into these holes here. And that's where you can use the, the guide if you want to, but actually these are pre-drilled holes and I found them to work perfectly. Is as long as you've got the bottom of this skin flush with the bottom of the spar bulb right here, this, this part right here, okay? So if you bring it around, those clamps work good. You have to push this back in, make sure it's flush with the bottom, and this is pushed down far enough, and, and you can drill them and you'll be fine. That'll be the last thing you do. I also like to take some tape and put across here. Here the pitot tubes are covering this slot but on down further where you're away from that, you've got that slot here where the spar is below. And as you drill all these holes, those clippings all go down there, which of course you can blow out, but it's easier just to take some tape, upside down tape, a wide masking tape down here that'll catch the uh, shavings as you drill. It's really important to get all the metal out of this thing. I mean, after you fabric it, if you've got some metal shavings and they pop loose and get between the fabric, you're gonna see it all the way through the finish. And one finish of the paint, one little bitty chip will do it. So keep all the metal blow this thing out and blow it out and shake it shake it and rattle it and make sure everything all those little shavings are out metal shavings is the worst there is so i went back down here like we talked about and we've got the top two rows of rivets all the way down through here everything when i put them on here they all lined up i got my hand see at this point you still get your hand up underneath any of these come back around the, the bottom here you can go up underneath there and you can move the ribs around a little bit if you need to line these second holes up. Remember what I said about move it around with one hand underneath and see the blue line. Blue line. Of course, that always comes on. Move it around till you see the blue line. And then as you hold it from underneath and see the blue line, put some pressure on the skin this way and hold it until you can drill your hole uh, through through there. And then, uh, then you can put your Clico in. So obviously I put the Clicos in, I took the skins off, blew everything out, cleaned it, uh, and uh, deburred it. And then I came back and I put this, these rivets in. I'm not gonna have the opportunity to do that on the bottom ones, I'm just gonna wrap them, drill them, blow it out, and then uh, rivet them. Uh, and just make sure I keep those drillings out of the way uh, on these on the bottom, these bottom two. Uh, holes that will wrap around the bottom of the nose okay so so that's pretty easy and then, like i say you can go in and move put move the ribs nose ribs around a little if you need to to make sure you got the blue line that's what was good about this tape going across here because it will let, allow you a little bit of movement uh, and flexibility whereas other things don't do that that's why i don't like to use the string or any fixtures or anything like that the light fixture is just sitting in here it doesn't matter just have it in there uh, we'll do that later and come all the way across. Now I've come down, once those are all in, the first two rows are in, then come back. And again, this this outside skin, you can see we've got a, a gap between here and the spar. So not a big deal. What I do is put one, loosely put a clamp, uh, a couple of clamps on here, one, two in the middle, kind of pull these up and I get underneath here and I just kind of, just kind of look. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. How's this one looking? You know, so if you've got anything that's major screw ups, you can, before you get these clamps tight and it's pressed against it, you can move the ribs around a little if you need to. Okay, looking at this hole, you have to push it up, take a, take your flashlight, flashlight, shine it up, look in the, in the hole and see if you can see the blue lines. Okay, so you do that before you completely tighten uh, the clamps up so that you still still can uh, move the ribs around. Once these clamps are completely tight, it's pretty hard. That, it really holds that skin up against the ribs. It's kind of hard to move the, the ribs around a little bit, okay? You can see when we get down to the next ones here, you know, they're gonna wrap all the way around. So they're gonna go all the way around the back side of this spar. It's kind of cool because the holes that are here will go right into the tails of the nose ribs and kind of hold it in place until you can get it, you get a clamp on it, a big clamp on it. So once you think everything looks good, you've kind of got those lined up. You see, I try to put, I've got four, four clamps in this set. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm really only gonna use three 
right now because I'm not going to do this one yet because it's where the overlap. I'll do this one last. And what I'm going to do is I'll wait until I get this one done and it's all secure. Then I'll move and I'll put a clamp right over this, you know, so it holds it tight right through there and back and back down this way and just keep working my way like that. Uh, I, when you get, and so then you'll tighten the clamps up to tighten them up. You see, I got the middle one almost tight. What I do is put my big belly up against it like this. And I put my hand on this side. Then I just push with my stomach until I kind of get that out of the way. And it'll take, give you some slack here. I push that up and then twist the wing nuts. Okay. And you can just hand tighten them if you need to once you've got them up tight. But work it until you've got it flush all the way around. It should be even. I made a whole bunch of these clamps for Cub Crafters. They sent me these pieces. I put them together. They cut them out at the factory right through here. I built the rest of it and put them together and supplied all the hardware and shipped them, shipped them out to people. So that's why we ask that you please uh, only get the clamps after you've got both wings ready. So anyway, pull them up until this is completely tight. Never have I had to take a pair of pliers or, or anything and tighten these. Always hand tight. It's been good enough. When this gets up flush all the way around, and you'll learn if you've got a gap down here, whether you have to tighten it up here or vice versa, which, which side you have to tighten to get it to come out. But it should be flush all the way around. And again, don't do it too hard. Just get it up tight. Or it's, all you want to do is set it against those nose ribs where you can rivet them. Now, um, like I say, this one is real easy. When you get down to these ribs, you have more problems. And the reason is you can't reach up underneath it and wiggle them a little bit if you have to. So I do the same thing. I do a lot of testing first. I'll wrap this around, maybe put one clamp in the middle to kind of hold it in place. And I get up underneath there with my flashlight and I push and I push it up against the rib and I look with my flashlight seeing if my ribs are pretty close, okay? And if I have to move them around a little bit, I will, but not that big of a deal. Then go ahead and get your clamps. Once you got them pretty close, go ahead and put your clamps on loosely like this again. But once you get them kind of loose, then go back underneath there and, and look again. You can still move those ribs around a little bit. One thing that I do is you can take a something like this, okay, or an awl, but I just go down to... to uh, Harbor Freight and get these little picks, you know. And what you can actually do, I don't have any holes here to really show you, but you can say, for example, you're looking through this hole down here and you see the blue line and it's over here. And so you need to move this rib over here. Most of the time I can actually take, take this pick, go in there, push it through the hole, put some pressure down hard, hard on the, on the rib itself, the nose rib, and then just using some leverage, pull it back over like this, kind of pull it back until it gets over that hole. Once it gets where I want it, once again, I hold it there with the pick until I can get my hand on the skin and put pressure down on that rib until I can get it drilled and get a Clico, you know, in it. So that's that's one of the ways of moving it a little bit. Uh, you can really, you put quite a bit of pressure and leverage and you can move uh, the ribs over back and forth, you know, pretty good with that right there. And again, once you get it there to hold it, just put some pressure on the skin against the rib to hold it until you can get that drill through it. Then you can, then you can move it around again if you need to, to put the Clico or the rivet in. You can get in, get in that hole, leverage it over, you know, hold it tight, stick your uh, rivet in. Uh, in extreme cases where something's really, really out, and uh, plus you can actually come through here too. You can come through here and go through, reach in through there a little bit if you need to move that light uh, fixture out of the way. Uh, another thing you can do obviously is you can come in from the ends, okay? So you can come in from the ends and get to a, um, to a rib. I use something. This is my spear I spear bears with. This is a this is a Hawaiian sling sling. This is a, what you go spear fishing with. You put a you know a fishing tip on the end of it, but anything. And you can take it and you can actually go in. I'll measure out here. I'll say, okay, I need to look at this rib's not quite right, so I'll kind of measure how far that is. Then you can actually go in this end, go down, go down through here just like this. You know, go to that rib 
and give it a push, you know, and, put, and if you need to push it over a little bit, just push it over a little bit. By having the, the masking tape on there, uh, it'll let it move a little bit. Um, and then if you gotta come from that way, you can go from that end if you can reach it. If you can't, I know Larry Robbins had, had a pretty good little deal he put on there where he put a, a wooden dowel and he put a hook on it, just put a, a regular hook like you'd uh, hang something you know, with a screw in and a hook. Then what he could do then if he needed to pull the rib this way towards you, you could go up through there to the other side of the rib, hook it on and then pull, pull it back a little bit. <clears throat> you could get somebody to help you and just kind of put a little pressure on it. So anyway, that's the ways uh, to push it and pull it. And again, if you'll just kind of get the clamps kind of loose first, you know, without really tightening them up tight, then you can move them more easily and see that they're about right. And then once you think they're right, go ahead and tighten your clamps up and, uh, and uh, then you'll be, be in good shape. Um, so all you gonna do is Put these three on here. Right now, what I'm gonna do is go underneath there. I'm gonna tighten these up. Uh, put some stuff, you know, put, push it up there. Go ahead and rivet the bottom two rivets on this one. And then when you move these the next ones around, it's the same thing. You'll, uh, you'll just move them around and keep keep working your way uh, down you, as you go. And uh, then do the, the tops and the bottoms on these ribs and the tops only over here being sure not to hit the the spar bulb that's in there and i guess that's about it i can't think of any other uh, hints or anything else to do it's really not very hard it's kind of fun to do once you figure it out the ex2 uh, ones are a whole lot easier because you can always just reach up underneath and wiggle them as you need to go but the trick is putting the blue lines on there uh putting the masking tape on the ends where you can move it around and uh, other than that, it's, it's uh, actually pretty fun. That's it. Have fun.